Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Well, we're talking about the Unplanned Podcast brings on a uh, couple called Kay and Tay. And I've had them on my radar for a little bit, but this one's interesting because she has another daughter. I don't think she has full custody of it all. And she talks about it in the show about how she navigates exploiting all of her children. And now she doesn't exploit this one, but she'll exploit this one. And then it's the story. And the Unplanned Podcast is always fun to snark on Matt when all those rings and his weirdness. And Matt's super duper 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 cringe right now, so we should take a look at this one. So, let's go. So Matt's been on a cringe fest with his songs. And he sings his songs really weird. He, 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 he does his vowels really weird, and I hate it. The person that sent you this wants you to know this. If I could change a single thing, I wouldn't. If I could change a single thing, just, just, put your, just pronunciate properly. Well, if I could see the future, I'm not shedding. Shedding, shedding. You got a mouth full of cotton candy, just sing it right! He like always does these love songs. I love everything about you. Then he releases another song like, I hate my life and I hate I hate my wife. <laughs> like he's such a weirdo. I think I might have written the perfect wedding song. You haven't. You have not written the perfect wedding song. You know how I know? Because it's you. Give me your bad Your library books. And I'm I am going to parody this song. And I'm going to roast the ever-living garbage out of him. I'm going to parody it! Guy, anyway, he did this video. I don't know. I can't seem to find it. Where he was, like, shirtless. And he was getting roasted. He deleted it. He deleted the video. Anyway, he was, like, shirtless and saying a bunch of weird stuff. But he got so roasted for everything because he had a shirt. He's like, dude, your wife's so hot. And then he would, like, I, I can't even explain it to you. It's so cringy. And then Abby gets upset because he's getting roasted. And she tells everybody to eat booty cheeks. Like, she's telling people to eat butt. For some reason, it's really weird. Anyway, Matt's cringe lord, and he's disgusting. And he pronounces his words weird, and I hate him. So let's go to this podcast. So Kay and Tad, I didn't know anything about them until this video kind of popped up. And I don't like her for a few reasons. I've only ever seen parts of her content. But her chin, it's like her mouth is too close to the bottom of her chin. It really creeps me out. Got married at 18, had my... She looks like a Disney character, but I can't tell which one. First star at 19. The marriage was not compatible. We... Oh, your marriage at 18 wasn't compatible? Fought a lot. And That's strange. When I say fight, I mean fight. I was in Afghanistan. I was deployed, and she was messing around with someone else, and then she ended up getting pregnant. I found out deployed, and then it made all this drama. Was it somebody that you knew? It was multiple people. You didn't know who the dad was. I didn't really trust men. I don't... I can't do it. The chin. It's the chin for me. Looks like Marge Simpson. At that sure. point, I'm like, I don't trust women. I will. God, you're such a misogynist. You can't change her chin. <laughs> I know. But you know what she can change? Exploiting her child. She could change that. Not have anything to do with women. And so it was just this game breaking down all those walls that had been built up. He didn't have to take that on. And he did. You what you did? What you did? Tay's ex wife cheated on him. And yeah. So that's another thing. They made it look like this was their first baby because they hide their other child because the kid doesn't want to be in there or the dad doesn't want her to be on the internet, which is great. And the dad of that kid, congratulations to you for protecting your daughter because she clearly would have exploited her if you would have allowed it. Got pregnant while he was deployed in Afghanistan. Kay, on the other hand, got pregnant at 19 and has a 12 year old daughter that she has joint custody over. She and no one knew doesn't show her 12 year old daughter on any of her TikTok videos. And up to this point, she has stayed silent about it. Hmm. Why? Why may you ask? And you know what? She's not allowed to exploit her child on the internet. And that should tell you everything you need to know about this. That she had another baby and was super proud to exploit this other child. K and Tay can kiss my ass! We talk about all this and so much more in today's interview. What's, What's up, dude? Shut up. And hey, welcome back to the- It's too much light. Oh, Abby, your teeth. Why did you do that to yourself? You look like an idiot. You tell people to bite booty cheeks? Look at your teeth. You look silly. Now you're telling everybody who watches you, you're not as good, as, you're not good as you are. I hate that about this culture. I hate that about this culture. I'm playing podcast. Woohoo! Hey! Guaranteed Matt's gonna be going and getting some, you know, hair plugs eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Today we are joined by Kay and Tay. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah. We're 
douches. We're so stoked to have you on the- And this guy, thanks for your service, but you're supposed to be this type of protector. And you get home and you exploit your child on the internet, you don't see anything wrong with that? Shame on your ass, dude. Shame on you. Congratulations on the birth of your baby. Oh my gosh, she's Thank adorable. You. She's literally here in the room. She's <laughs> wow, is he? She just wanted to be involved. Yeah, yeah, she just wanted to be a part of the podcast today, so she she's here. And she's <laughs> she's loving it. We were talking before the Shut up. I'm gonna call her jowls. Can we call her jowls? how life didn't always look this way like there were there were times of like being low income and things being hard and i think i read something online about stop what i hate matt and abby talk about being low income they were like students every student is low income stop being like we were poor you were never poor get wrecked asshole well you we were in poverty you were a student <laughs> Man, I hate people like this. You guys saying that like you were in debt at one point and um <gasps> debt? No. I'm curious like everybody's in debt. Talk to us about that, because I feel like it's a side of your life that a lot of people don't see online. Yeah, neither of us came from a lot of money. I mean, mm -hmm. when we got married, we didn't really have any money. We had like a little bit of money. I just so <laughs> we didn't have any money, we had money. Okay. <laughs> what <laughs> People who say stupid stuff. We didn't like have a lot of money, but we had some money. If you have some money, you're better off than like 100%. Like if you have some money in your bank account, you're better off than like 95% of the people. Most people don't have anything. They're always in withdrawal. Like they're always below. So shut up. Say that, say but then that. we also went backpacking to Europe with, we weren't very smart. We, were, <laughs> we didn't have money, but we went Europing. We were young. And so all the money that we did have, we spent it on a trip to Europe and then had no money. But for <laughs> this stupid idiot. What kind of phrases? We had no money, but we had enough money to go on a European vacation. Are you? Do you hear what you're saying? Do you hear what's coming out of your face hole? For the record, <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. For the record we, that wanted, to have, money, we wanted to have a big wedding, and we had some money saved up, and we didn't want to spend all of the money on a wedding. We started thinking about it, and we we're like, you know, this is one night. We're basically paying all this money. Yeah, it's stupid. To throw this big party for everybody else when we're not even going to probably get to sit down and eat the food. Yeah. Or what? That's, that's silly. Or do anything, and we're just stressed the whole time. I can't. It's like her whole face just shifted down. Yes. <laughs> and so we went on like this really epic honeymoon backpacking extravaganza. And I say all our money, but it, it wasn't even. It was less than ten thousand dollars. This guy did they? So they started this whole conversation. We were poor. We had no money. We spent like less than ten thousand, and then we had a wedding. <laughs> well, we were poor. Shut up. Shut your damn pie. You have no idea what it's like. So stop saying stupid shit like this. There are people out there who are choosing between hydro and rent, food and diapers. So shut your damn mouth. Rich people on podcasts who talk talk about how a bad, like you gotta stop doing this. You gotta stop. It's the money that we had, I had saved over the course of like seven years at that point. So you had like 20 grand saved up and you had no money? Cool. Do you know how many people would die for that kind of savings in their bank account? It would change so many people's lives and they're like, we, they consider that being poor. Like that was the <laughs> rest of our money, but I felt like me and Kay, like. Kay and I. Okay, apparently I'm gonna skip through. It's like 11, they start talking about this stuff. And then you know what to avoid and you know what to lean into and that's what kind of, you know, strengthens mm -hmm. your relationship. Yeah. I'm curious because like, I know, I think initially with your the story of your pregnancy and everything, <clears throat> excuse me, I assumed that this was your first pregnancy but I know that you got that you have a, a daughter mm -hmm. as well. Like if you have two daughters, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so I guess my question is like, were you previously married before Ted? Mm -hmm. I was. You know all the answers to these. Um. So this isn't something we've really been able to go into depth on um, on our channel because we just post short. You know, there's not a lot of time to really go into depth. But mm, right. Yes, I. No, if you could, you would. Because these people are already exploiting this child. So she's not allowed to go into depth about her other daughter. I'm surprised that she's doing it now. Got married at 18. Um, I got pregnant and had my first daughter at 19. The marriage was not good. It was not compatible. <laughs> it wasn't compatible because my brain wasn't even fully developed. Stop marrying these teenagers, people. Stop having babies as teenagers. We fought a lot. And when I say fight, I mean fight. It wasn't like Taylor and I's arguments. So that's really, really telling. Now, if they were having physical altercations and there was abuse happening, but she doesn't have custody of her daughter, that that what that does is it pauses me to say, is she the problem? Is she physically abusive? 
That's why I don't like the word fight. Yeah. Uh, um, because I've, I've lived that, and I know how much harder it can be to be in that kind of relationship. And, you know, and she has this massive platform, and she gets to go on these other big platforms, and she gets to say whatever she wants and tell the story she wants to tell. And the other guy will probably likely never tell his story or never get to. And he's now the... If these people have millions of subscribers, that guy is a villain in her story, even though they don't know anything about that. It's like the Maya Knight story, where they were throwing baby daddy under the bus. He's a douche. He's a douche. And we hate him. And it wasn't even the right guy. The whole time, and then he wanted custody of his children, and he got it. So that's that's like that's what I'm saying. These these people can say whatever they want, and the other guy doesn't get to stand up for himself at all. But I did end up getting divorced, and now we have joint custody. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a little short. You know, he's been in her life um, since she was three, and she doesn't know life without Taylor. She's yeah. very close to Taylor. I mean, he's like the play parent. He's sat in the floor and played Barbies with her. Oh, he's a play and, mm. and he's just so hands-on with her, and they're very close. In fact, I would say, like, she's one of, or he is one of her best friends. Mm. I mean, she... Oh, yeah. Hell, you, you, imagine hiding your child, and people are like, okay, how am I going to explain to the world I'm hiding a child I had? So that I can pretend to have a baby, and we're pregnant for the first time, we're taking pregnancy. Like, I think she's only doing this podcast because they got called out for the daughter that they had before. I don't know. I, I'm just saying, from not knowing anything about these people, that's what it sounds like. Like, she was going to get called out for, like, faking this whole, and having a hidden child. And, or you wrote her a card one year for her birthday, and it was like, I think this was actually 2022, because it was... At my Gigi's house. When we she don't need any of these details. He had cancer. Um, so yeah, it was that birthday. But he wrote her a card and it was like, um, thank you for being my best friend. And it was like made me cry. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's weird. That's but, you're not a best friend. You're a stepdad. Mm -hmm. But they are very close and I'm so thankful because he didn't have to take that on. And he did. He didn't take it on. You have... You say joint custody, but he has the majority, apparently from what I'm learning, is that the father has the majority custody of his daughter, so. Okay, take, take on much. Even though I had a lot of baggage. This is the sensitive side of me. <laughs> hey, Marge Simpson. Oh, it's not real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. See, and she, that's, they think that's a joke, right? They do these fake crying all the time online, and is there no tears, it's like crocodile tears, what they call it, they're fake. And she, not, she thinks it's funny to say that. If the tears don't fall, it's not real. And she's like, that's, that's a serious thing that these influencers talk about, and that's why they laugh about it. That's, and that's actually crazy. <laughs> it doesn't fall in <laughs> This episode of the... Crash. I keep some comfortable... It wasn't day one, like, like I didn't... How you the brown mind? hair girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. the brown hair girl. Did you know that the brown hair girl had this beautiful daughter, or did it take a, a couple dates or something to learn that information? It wasn't day one. Like, I didn't learn that day we met, but it wasn't long after. I mean, like, within the first few conversations, Kay's very, like, that's, like, her favorite topic. Is her name Kaylor? Is talking about uh, Kansas. Kaylor and Taylor. Now, uh, LA. Like, you, well, you know, like, she's been nonstop yeah. this whole time. Oh, sorry. About Ellie, so I mean, like I knew very. <laughs> Has she been nonstop this whole time about the other daughter? <laughs> Doesn't sound like it. it. Sounds like you hid it from the internet quickly, and it wasn't. It wasn't like something I was. And it, he didn't, didn't get, get to meet run her. Away. He didn't get to. Meet okay, so I we're only gonna skip it to nineteen fifteen. Ten wow. years, so, so it's like I'm just Kinsley's just my daughter too, you know. Yeah, for sure. No, she's not. And you said you also came from like rough relationships and stuff were you previously divorced also yeah so i also got married really young high school no sweetheart and then wow sounds like you guys make really bad decisions and partners <laughs> match made in heaven i think what happened was more like match made in hell burn we weren't right for each other but we got together anyway and a whole finasco ended up happening where i was deployed and she was messing around with someone else and then she ended up getting pregnant and then like i found out deployed and then it made all this drama and so i can't like you could see where i would Wait, be standoffish i'm confused Wait, she got pregnant while she was married to you yeah yeah while oh, i was I'm deployed so sorry yeah. oh matt just don't say things yeah well i mean i mean it works out <laughs> it in works, the end. i mean yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. It worked. <laughs> worked out in the end we had to hire we had to hide my other daughter but it works out we can exploit this child together it works out passed, it really was hard is like, I think back to, like, I was in Afghanistan, and, like, I, I I can remember those moments of them, like, pulling me in and being, like, we know what happened. And, like, me, like, I wasn't allowed to, like, sit and, like, we did, like, patrols, and we would do things where we were in, like, towers at some points. Like, this was, like, a little fob that I was on, like, a, for a forward operating base. So it wasn't, like, okay. a big base. This was, like, the small thing. There was, like, yeah. 26 of us. And 
I wasn't allowed to be alone anymore. And it was just this weird... I was in this weird daze for so long. Because they were worried about you? Well, I'm just reading the Takente uh, Reddit snark page. And the top... The top thing of all time is this one. I get not being allowed to show your child in TikTok, so that's true. But the fact to act like she's never existed is gross. They never talk about her and play like they're the first time parents. If I was her and found out they were worshiping my baby sister and having her be the highlight of their life and famous, but no one knows who I am, I'd be hurt. No, I mean, it's be she's better off. The 12 year old is better off not having the internet know her. Let let's be real, that's way better off. They act like she doesn't exist because they can't use her for content. And yet people still worship them and call them best parents. Interesting. They're also deleting comments when people say she has a second child. They are currently going through a court case. I think showing her daughter would only cause more harm, but I have no idea why they refuse to acknowledge her in videos. Does the daughter live with their dad? They recently moved in there. Are they in the same state? No, the daughter lives in a different state with her dad. They get her sometimes and she has to travel a lot, but dad has full custody as of now. So she just lied to you guys. They have, jo not lied, but joint custody, but he has the majority custody. So I guess it's true that it's joint, but he has like, they only see her once in a blue moon. The fact that she went through her whole pregnancy acting as if it was her first baby and the way she treats Ellie and never puts her down like Ellie's her firstborn is absolutely crazy. I could see Tay doing it. It's his first baby, but Kay, if I were her eldest daughter, I wouldn't want anything to do with her when I turn 18. Maybe it's a quarter that she can't be posted in videos, but just to completely act like it's a whole first for you is wild. This is what got them, got people upset with Kay and Tay. Apparently she does a lot of eye twitching when they eat food. So Kay's not allowed to post her daughters on TT on TikTok. When I first learned that Kay and Tay had another child, but now their fans are just doing that. If they were a dad, I'd be absolutely pissed. In my opinion, this is even worse than Kay posting her own daughter. So what's happening is fans are finding stuff that she is posting online in her private accounts and they're posting it to the public. I would also be very angry with that because she's got a big platform that people are gonna find her and find those photos and post them. Why are the girls in glam, but the idiot man is wearing a basic white t-shirt? <laughs> It's so true. Anyway. Because, you know, that's it. That's like the typical story, right? You get deployed, you're in a combat zone, and then something horrible happens back home, and then, you know, like you know what happens to military people when <laughs> the stress is high, and, you know, those rates are high, and so... <gasps> And so they're like very careful. People actually take their own life, like when something like oh, that. Yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah, and especially deployed because you're already in the middle of nowhere, wearing camouflage all day long. You don't have real clothes. You wear your military uniform all day and night, and you're living in a. I was living in a Connex box with a little bathroom built into it. What is that? What is a that? Connex box? Like a um, shipping container. Really? I'm living in a shipping container that they put a door on this. Hey, I mean, they may make bulletproof though. Side of. Were you like on the front lines? Like I don't well, know. Well, like, I was exactly just in what? Afghanistan. Okay. I mean, Afghanistan is the. Front line. If you're in Afghanistan, you're in danger. They they space the bases out, and there's fobs, and there's bases, and I was just in one of the fobs, fobs being a base near a... Ma Forward operating base. ...in base, okay. where activity goes in and out. The mission was weird. We just, like, protected people. It, it's kind of, kind of irrelevant, but... Um, and so it was weird, like, you know... He's like, don't, I don't want to talk about that. How did they, if you don't mind me asking, how did they tell you? Like, or how did you find out about her... I found okay. out from her initially. She, like, texts me, and she was like... Like, I guess it had already gotten out. How long have you been married at this point? About a year. Okay. Yeah, about a year. And you're just like 20 years old. She texted you that she was pregnant. She was like, "You're my, you're." Bro knew it was a bad relationship anyway. I'm gonna hear about it essentially, and like that, she basically went into detail about what happened, and she's like, "You're probably gonna hear about it because it had already spread back in the states." But everyone was like, don't tell Dudley. Like, we got to figure out how to tell him. Because it's like this big thing when you're deployed. Like, mental yeah, health is really a huge thing in the military. Yeah. I knew Breaking people that, like that took their own life. You know, it was, <gasps> it's, it's a normal thing. <sighs> so more people are, like, actually taking their own lives. Why does Matt Okay, yes, this happens. Like, soldiers are massively at risk for this. And not just, like, vamping on this. It even sounds like this Taylor guy doesn't want to talk about that. In the military, then in combat. Or, like, then, like, passing in combat. It, at that point, probably. Wow. I, and I, I, it probably even more now because they pulled out, you know, of a lot of places. But yeah, and so it was just a really hazy time. I'm so sorry. I remember the first few, like, months that we were dating. That was back when, like, Man Crush Monday was a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, yeah. Where yeah. you would post, like, your man. Um, and so I had posted him. It was when we could find... No, that's stupid. Okay, I'm going to password... Apparently 2422, they talk about fetish content. Wanting to like show each other affection, like that has mm -hmm. to be like, yeah. Like, like. It is. Yeah. It's funny because like, I like. see a lot of people saying like, like oh, they like, 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 like fetish like. content. I see that. Wait, that's a weird thing. Fetish. They, they, have, think, yeah. they think our content's fetish and it's like real. Why? It's a sloth. She looks like a sloth. Really confusing. I don't know if they mean fetish for women. Like, 
to, to have a perfect relationship. Oh. Or if they mean, oh. they think like, that. No, that's just not what they mean. One, because they don't that make it mind, clear. Yeah. yeah, you honestly, like, you do the most. I'm like, man, like, watching some of your videos, I'm like, man, I, I definitely could. Do it's just my work language, though. <laughs> <laughs> or it's that they think that I'm acting like a kid on purpose for some reason. Yeah, could, that's exactly what you are. You, you have a you have a persona that you put on. That's what you do. That's what and that's what people are saying. That's if you look scroll through the thread, that's what happens. Be it too. They don't. They're not very clear. Yeah, and and uh, I just have to say that she means her haters on Reddit. Like you were saying, because we came from such broken relationships prior. I have opened myself up more with him. So I am able to have like, what would you call that? I don't know. When you are able to just act really happy and yeah. giddy and well, bubbly. It's like you baby and... talk with your partner in private or you yeah. like heighten your voice. Like I guess she baby talks a lot, which, oh, don't. When I'm talking to Ellie, my voice naturally goes up like three yeah. octaves. I don't. Mm-hmm. Think I'm not like I'm gonna hide my voice three octaves. It just you happens. Think about it. Yeah. It's just yeah. natural. It's okay. Just no, you're gross. Naturally lets loose and and shows real emotions, and then people get upset. Yeah. No, people make fun of you. They're not upset. We're upset that you exploit your child. About. They're like. And that you kept one hidden from the world. This is clear. Which is like honestly good. Like I know that people are upset about that, but. I mean, it's because she's fake and obviously and people are super pissed that she's fake, but good that you kept your kid from the world. That's actually a good thing. Really fetish content. And I'm like, are you joking? Like, yeah, are you turned to, on to be this? able to right. think? She's <laughs> like, I'm like, if your brain is immediately going to that, that's oh my God. God. Yeah. it's not. You. Honestly, oh though, you know? I think that's where a lot of the morning. None of this was funny. Okay, 31, 22, apparently she talks about her relationship a little bit more. People, but... <laughs> they didn't know, she didn't know who. She didn't know who the dad was. Probably but guy's people. rocking that baby like... It's going to get seasick. But, but he either knew. way, it's... I don't know. I don't for, really have any advice for how you would detect that. I, I wouldn't have advice looking for Looking back, I don't, have, I don't know how I would have. I do have advice for red flags in general with like my situation. Yeah. Um, if y'all want to hear, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not as juicy as cheating probably, but um, I feel like for me with the red flags that I should have seen. Don't forget everybody. If there is this, uh, the fact that he has major custody of this daughter should every time she says anything about that, that should give you pause to be like, okay, because if that were the case, there's no way you'd have custody of a child. No way, because the mother is generally, not always, but generally given custody of the children, especially in abusive relationships, like more often than not, even not in abusive relationships, just in general, even if the guy's a great guy, still the woman generally gets custody. So it looks like she like seems like she didn't even fight for custody. Were control. And so I wasn't allowed to have friends at all, like even though I wanted them and I wanted to go, I, we lived in my hometown, and so I went, again, she gets to say all this. I hope he gets to clap back. Hey, buddy, if you're watching, whatever your name is, come on the show. I'd love to talk to you about this the true story, buddy, because there's three sides her side, your side, and the truth. To high school, there knew all these people, and I, I kind of like slowly was cut off from everybody. Um, he That's didn't want me to go to college yeah. in my hometown as a community college because I might see boys that I went to school with. I again. He has custody, so take everything she's saying here with a big giant ass grain of gels. Didn't have access to our money up until he deployed because he I had to have access to money by at that point because he wasn't there. You live in like a military town and keep getting marrying soldiers. Um, you know, it's just a lot of control, and I don't know. Obviously, I think it stemmed from insecurities and him feeling like he would lose me. I guess that's. I tried to understand his thought process on why he was like that, but. Definitely, you can't control your partner. You can't con- you can't put restraints thing. on their money, like not even having access to the cards so you can go grocery shopping or having friends or going out to eat. And if I did go out to eat, I would have to text him the whole time to make sure. So it sounds like, see, again, what she just said, what, she has no friends. He's, he's not allowed to go out. But then in the next sentence, she says, and when I did go out with my friends to eat, I had to text them all the time. So which one is it? You were allowed or you weren't allowed? Which one is it? See, these people, they contradict themselves. They don't even know what they're saying out of their mouth. That's why you can't never trust an influencer ever, especially one who exploits children. Okay. They can never keep their story together. Right. They put so much content on the internet. You can probably go back and find something that she contradicts herself and lies about anyway. He knew I was not doing something. It's like a security kind of thing. Whoa, really? If I was going to hang out with somebody, I had to send pictures. I mean, it was like. 
That was an actual pictures. requirement. Like, yes. if you hang out with a friend, pictures. you need to and send a picture. And if I didn't, he'd find me and and be outside. And he'd tell, tell me to come outside because he found me at their house and wanted me to come outside. That's creepy, though. Talk to him. 900 phone calls in a row if I didn't answer. So, I think those are red flags, for mm-hmm. sure. I feel those like there's the someone... Red flags, I feel like there's someone less... I feel like that's probably a soldier thing, and that's really sucky, and I'm not blaming her for that. Um, but I feel like that is a soldier thing. That soldiers... Obviously, you're deployed for so many months of the year. I imagine you're probably thinking and have so much trust issues because you're not there to do anything, and it happens so often. I'm not saying she did this. I don't think so. But I'm saying he, it happened to him. And so I think this is just a soldier thing. It's not acceptable. I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying it probably comes with the territory of dating a soldier, right? I don't know. But you shouldn't ever, as a woman, you should never accept that. That is a no-go ever if a man treats you like that. That is a zero, nope. Situation literally right now. Yeah. And they they see all the red flags, but they're too scared to to leave and to Mm -hmm. seek help. What would you say to that person? I would say that as hard as it may feel like it is in that moment, 10 years from now, you will be so glad that you did, that you left because it, what is it? It takes seven, seven times for somebody to leave an abusive relationship um, before it sticks. That's like the statistic, I think. Like leaving and coming back? Leaving and coming back because I, for one, left and came back, left and came back so many times, including when I was pregnant. I left multiple times and came back. So I think if you get, finally are able to leave you just have to know in 10 years, in five years even, three years, you're going to be so happy that you did um, mm-hmm. because it does get better, so much better. And who knows, like maybe your person is waiting and they're also going through something and they need to find you as well. Okay, well, this is so boring. This one is one of the most viewed podcasts they ever did too. It's so bad. So apparently I have to follow this one. Sometimes I'll be holding up uh, my, my youngest Augie and he'll like fart really loud and Abby's like Matthew James. And I'll be like, I, I can't swear. Tell I'm like, I swear that was not me. I'm like, I swear that was a new one. But no, it, sometimes it is him. But he just <laughs> yeah, no, but it's and like. he just goes, Augie. I'm like, Augie. you're such a dad. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> These people are sitting on a twenty thousand dollar couch, by the way. And he gets his farts from his oh, dad. It's Madison. funny. She gets hers from him for oh, sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you guys fart in front of each other? Okay. She doesn't fart. I this knew. I knew. She was one of those girls. Oh, she's a beige mom. Ah, beige. No, 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 listen, listen. I don't believe it. Linda, listen, listen. Okay, listen, listen. Yeah, I don't know. Fifty I military pays. I'm married, or like what? Like what did your situation look like in the culture that you guys grew up in? The military will pay you more if you're married. Yes. Oh, and yeah. so I didn't know. That. Yeah, everyone was getting married, but I don't think yeah. it was like a oh well, you know, I want to live together first or I want to get married first. I think it was like a well, I was with this person before I joined, so I might as well get married and get that extra few hundred bucks a month. What really is that? Why does the military incentivize marriage? I don't remember now if they pay you more for kids or not, or if it's just being married. But they I have pay a, you more for, for your each kid. Uh, VAH, which is what they give you for rent, and like. To your living allowance. But food too, right? They give you like a food allowance. It's more too. Do they give you a food allowance? Yeah, I think it is because you have a wife that you're supporting or kids that you're supporting, mm-hmm. and so they give you more. Like it's the right thing to do to give you more, but then everyone in the military gets married for the wrong reason. Uh, you know okay. what I mean? Because totally like, a single guy living. Everyone in the military gets married for the wrong reasons. Is that what you just said? Sounds made up. And the dorms doesn't need the same amount of money as a married person oh. living in a house with two kids. One hundred percent. By the way, I don't know if I said this already, but... 100%. Let's talk about something Thank else. You Thank I'm you for your service. Thank you. By the way, have you heard my song, that I hate, How I Hate My Wife? It's really cringy. <laughs> and I sing with my shirt off in the desert. By the way, like, that's that's so admirable and... All right, I don't want to hear him blowing smoke up each other's ass. So 101... This, the juicy stuff is here. We get to it. Let's get to it. Basically, TikTok wasn't even an app that existed five years ago, and now, mm-hmm. like... That is your job. So how do you explain that to your to your grandma? You know, like what what do you what do you do? What do you say? What? Why did she just hit him? Did you see that? What just happened there? But now, mm-hmm. like, that is your job. So how do you explain that to your to your grandma? You know, like what? <laughs> Abby, does Abby want to be here right now? Yeah, look at my teeth. What do you what do you do? What do you say? Why did she hit him? What's going on right here? They're communicating something. She's like, okay, let's get out of here. I am so bored with these two people. Well, I will say, like, my family... Why she hit them? I don't know that a lot of them even use TikTok. Most normal people don't. I think I've gotten some of them on TikTok because really? of us. Um, I think that's probably true for a lot of people. Um, but they're very proud of us. Like, Are they really proud of you exploring your child? <laughs> We're so proud of you. <laughs> 
proud. Very proud. Very if they, I wonder if your grandparents and your parents would be proud of you if they knew the truth about the exploitation of children on the internet. Would they be proud of you then? Because likely they don't know. Very supportive. We've never had to like hide our type of content, which we do. Never had to hide anything except for the fact that I had a daughter this whole time that no one knew about. We didn't hide anything, no. <laughs> didn't you? That's really weird. You said that like that. That's. Mm, it's almost like you just saying things that are untrue, also known as a lie. Very wholesome content, anyways. But like we've just always wholesome. like been ourselves and been like, hey, this is our job, and they've always supported that. They were even supportive in the beginning when when we had nobody following yeah. us. Like they were our first followers. They were the people who like liked all of our stuff. His mom still every single day when we post our reel, she shares it to Facebook. Every single oh. day. Never. Oh, yes, yes. Fails, he <laughs> hey, does your mom know that you're exploiting your child for cash? And like, just wondering. I, mean, I don't know how many people are seeing that, but it's just the support, the support. is there. It's so sweet. It's so there. Really, so. really sweet. Shut up. I hate when people like just fake blow smoke up each other's ass. It's just, I, these influencers are all rich to just sit here and just fondle each other. I'm just, I'm so over it. Yeah. I think they're, I think they're proud of us. What do you think is the big, biggest misconception about you guys? Oh, let's go. Well, that we hit our daughter, but we totally did, though. Have fun. Have fun. I don't know. Like Give me have... a list of misconceptions. I'm kind of just, like, throwing that on you. I don't know why I asked that, but... I... Yeah, because Matt's looking for the dirt. He's looking for the tea. I was like... Because Abby's like, this is really boring. Maybe I... But this is one of their most watched podcasts, by the way. I should ask that question. Maybe there's something that people... I will say the biggest misconception, and this is coming from, like, my mom. From my lies. Self. Oh, Okay. That I don't love my first daughter and that I'm hiding her. You did hide her. I mean, probably legally. So maybe she's saying, I didn't want to hide her. I would have totally exploited her if I, if I was allowed. Which, if you think about that's arguably worse. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That's probably the biggest misconception. That's because you didn't... I mean, I can understand not being able to show, but you could absolutely have told the internet that you had a daughter. You could have said that many times. Say, yeah, I've got a daughter that I'm not going to show you guys. I'm just, I don't want to. If it's an agreement that her and her, fa her father and I have come up, that's how we're going to co-parent. We love her a lot. Here's a funny story that happened when we went out for lunch the other day. You don't have to show her, but I'm sure you're allowed to talk about her. That's your life. A judge can't tell you, can't stop you from talking about a child that you have custody of, partial custody of. They can't tell you that. They can tell you not to show her, but you're allowed to talk about her. So that's a choice that you made. And everybody called you out and you found out and then you had to go on the internet and now you're all, now you have a ton of haters for it. I can think of. Because, I mean, it, it does hurt me. I think about it, like, every single day. Because the comments, like... So get off the internet. They get to you when people start seeing that. Even though I know that that's not true, people mm. from an outside perspective are like, well, she doesn't show her daughter, so she must not love her. But mm -hmm. I don't think these people understand, like, number one... And that coach looks comfortable. Well, my daughter is 12. She has a choice. If she doesn't want to be on our, po our podcast, on her content, <laughs> yeah. then I'm not going to force her to do... So it sounds like she doesn't want to be in your content because she's not in any of your content. And again, I think she's lying here. I think the child is not allowed to be in content. I think maybe until she's 13 and the judge can say, well, then she can choose. Um, but I think even then the kid probably doesn't want that. The dad has probably told the daughter about the dangers of the internet. And now that these people have a massive platform, even more so, he should try really, really hard to protect her and say, you don't want to be on there. You absolutely shouldn't. You can make your choice when you're old enough. But for now, I'm making the choice for you to keep you safe and off the internet. Now, she, I think she's lying. I don't think she's allowed to show. Because she's allowed to talk about her because she's doing it here. Do that. Same with Ellie. Once Ellie's old enough to make that decision, like I will never force my kids to be ah, a part of this. There it is. That's the crux of the whole thing, everybody. And so many creators have said this. This is Family Vlogger page 227. <laughs> well, when they're old enough, I'm not going to force them to be on the internet. But until they're old enough, you're going to force them to be on the internet. Do you not understand the irony of what you just said so i'm gonna force this child until they can say they don't want to be on here but up until that point which is likely 12 to 15 years of content with this child you're gonna put 12 to 15 years of content out about this kid and then when they're old enough be like well my bad i'll take it down now you think that's okay that's why informed consent is the most important thing about this because you don't know what the outcome for this child is going to be no one does and you're risking that. And instead of playing it safe, you're going to do the dangerous thing first because it makes you money. And you're an asshole for doing it. They don't want to be. Yeah. And she I hate that. Oh, they don't want to be. They don't want to be. How about that? How about if they want to be later in life, then you'll put them on. 
How about that? That's playing it safe. They always go the other way. They're always like, no, I will force them in their childhood and adolescence, and then maybe I'll figure it out. That's It's always the other way. Where, like, her friends follow us, and she's not probably particularly, like, interested in putting her life out there. Yeah. For and you, it, it's not, you're not, it's not clicking yet. Maybe this kid will be the same way. Not clicking? Not clicking? All her friends to like dissect and be like, oh, I saw that you did this, you know, the other day or whatever. So I. So now all your, all her friends can dissect you instead. And what a crappy piece of garbage you are. Completely. I hope her friends are watching this. Don't watch them. Don't watch them. Don't give them your views. And I understand. But, and you know, the other thing is her father doesn't want her on it. For him. Ah. The truth finally revealed. So she let it all be like, well, this, oh, and this thing, this side thing, just in passing, her father does what? Well. That's exactly why she's not on the internet. Yeah. Some reasons, and that's his thing, so. Oh, is it his thing? Hmm. It's just, to me, like, just because we don't film her doesn't, it has no relation to, like, to what, how much we love her. Like, yeah. so she's lying from her jowls right now. It's crazy. Because she absolutely would have filmed this kid if she was allowed. Yes. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me how people can't just understand, like, we don't post her for her, her reason. Right, that's not what people are upset about. And I'm glad you don't post her. But people are upset that you hid her. That people didn't even know you had another daughter, even though you're real and raw and you're channel about being a family, about being a mom. You kept this from people and you deleted comments when people started calling you out about it. That's what they're upset about. I'm glad you don't show her. Congratulations, even though it's because you're probably court ordered not to, but good. That's not what we're mad about. People are mad that you're a liar. Her reasons. If she wants to be on there, she will be. Yeah. It's, not hard, it's not a hard concept. No, she won't be because the dad says no. Well, yes. Isn't it crazy? It is. It's not a hard concept. <laughs> crazy how you can't win because it's like if you show if your you, kid. Which? No, no, no. It's like, oh my gosh, they aren't looking out for them. They're, they're, they're putting their kid on the internet. They hate their kid. Yes. If you don't. No, we don't think you hate your kid. We think that you're exploiting them and that you don't care that much. I don't think you hate your children. I think you're using your children. But that's, Matt, you're stupid. Come with like false fallacies about like, well, they hate, you hate your children because you post them on the internet. No, you idiot. We think that you don't care about their safety. It's a lot different. Show your kid, then it's like, oh, they're not showing their kid. They hate their kid. You they're must not love parent. them. Yeah. Like, no matter what you... No. Clearly, you don't have custody, so someone on. Do, people will find a flaw in it. So I think as a parent, you just have to make the right decision, the best decision for your right. child. No, the right decision. See, he got it right. Then he switched it to best decision. The right decision is always to keep your kid private. There is no other, there's no other right decision. The right decision is always erring on the side of caution because of the dangers that are out there. Artificial intelligence, bullying, predators, parasocial relationships. Like there are so many dangers that outweigh any good that can come from it. And the only good that comes from it is you get paid because there's nothing out there. It's like, I'm so like having your child on the internet, exploiting the internet does not do anybody any good. It's not beneficial to the world. What is it good for? What is it good for? So there's no good side to it, everybody, except for you get paid. Okay. So the best decision is always going to be the decision where you err on the side of caution and don't show your child. That's why he changed that. And like, that's super cool that you guys. And don't forget, Matt and Abby took their kids off the internet. Hmm, interesting, right? I found that for both of your children. Yeah. I like so respect that. And um, just getting to know you, even even just with the past couple of hours that we've talked, it's just like, I, I, I know that you guys are making like really good choices for, like. for your children. And it's just- No, they're not. They're not making good choices because they're exploiting their child. That's not a good choice. That's a bad choice, Matt, you dumbass. Really, I really respect um, all of that. And I'm sorry. Thanks. Thanks for blowing smoke on my chin. That when you stay silent on something online and you, and you do something. Her chin ups are like, she could do like a thousand chin ups because just. <laughs> out of, out of protection for your child, people. Can she wear a helmet with a strap? Find some way to misconstrue yeah. it. And that's really. <laughs> they fill in the story for you. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Even though they have. Well, the thing is, the reason why they're filling in the story is because you're out here telling the story about how he's abusive and all this kind of stuff, and yet you don't have custody of this child, and so we are forced to fill in the story because we know you're lying. That guy's not going to come on the internet and tell his side of the story. He doesn't care. The internet's not for him. He keeps his kid off the internet. Keep her that, to me, is more manly than anything using. That guy's the only good parent in the situation. So, you know, you get to say what you want. We're forced to fill in the void because you're lying. 
It's not their place. They have no idea what's going on. Right. It is people's place. You put your life on the internet. You capitalize on it. You make tons of money doing it. So yes, it is the people's place to do whatever they want with that content, to comment how they please. That's how you make money. I hate influencers who hate being held accountable. Like, okay, I'm going to share everything, but as soon as something comes up that I don't want to share, oh, it's none of your damn business. <laughs> Too late. Yes, it is. You made it everybody's business. They always want their cake and eat it too. The reality. And yeah. I think that's, and people will read those comments and instead of like hearing it from us, they'll just believe what they're hearing. <coughs> that's because you're lying. Like he got a DM the other day and it was oh, like on his personal Instagram. So these people had to like go and find him because we don't like, put his personal Instagram out there really. Yeah. Um, but they DM'd him and they were like, um, you should have thought about the fact that Kay has a daughter before you married her if you didn't want her in your life. If you didn't want to post her, what? maybe you should have thought about that before you um, got married to her mom. I thought I was the one that didn't want to He's not the content. reason that she's not in the content. I think... See, that's the truth is coming out. He's not the reason because he would exploit her too. And that's why this dad, who is the hero in the situation, by the way, he's the only one with his head on straight that sees the dangers of the internet. He's the only one here making good choices for this child. And you're like, he's he's not the reason she's not eating it. <laughs> that makes it worse, you asshole. You're thinking of her bio dad because like he is totally yeah. for her being in the content if she wa wants to be. Someone got so frustrated that they went all the way to found my They really wanted account. to tell him how it was, you know, <laughs> like I'm gonna let him know that is not mature that is not a responsible thing to And then her <laughs> and so they <laughs> they think they're clapping back back. No, he totally would exploit this child if he was allowed. You think that's better? <laughs> Dude, to marry somebody with a child and not want them in your content and i'm just like i just like that's all that is the biggest misconception is that we don't care about her yeah and she knows that's not true and that's all that matters that's at the end of the day that, is it all that matters and why do you speak on it for like five minutes that's what is that all that matters, matters. Yeah. she laughs at the hate comments as well why does she read the hate comments she's 12 years old there's no child on earth that should ever have to read a hate comment about their parents are you crazy yeah so is that hard sometimes when you see a false narrative online and you know that it's just completely made up? You know that your family knows knows you and knows your heart and your your friends know you and know your heart, yet there might be something that someone says that's just completely out of left field that doesn't fit at all. That's the hard... All these influencers say this, like, we know the truth. Like Kira over there been like, if you guys only knew the truth... <laughs> <laughs> just tell us the truth then. Hardest thing I think for me is like, I want- You hid your child from your followers. You hid it. You you could have talked about her. Again, you didn't have to show her. You could have talked about life as a, as a mom, you know, in mixed marriages and family, whatever you call that. I don't know what you call that. You could have talked about it. You didn't on purpose, on purpose. To and again, all the proof you need is now she's talking about her. So she's allowed, she's always been allowed to talk about her. She's never allowed to show her. So I think she's scared of the truth coming out. And once they get too big for the britches, which look like it's starting to happen, he's going to come out and whistleblow. Because she gets to come on the internet and tell anything she wants about this guy. And maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But eventually he's going to come out and say, okay, enough is enough. Here's the truth about this person. And it's going to be super detrimental to her. Be like a keyboard warrior. I want to like tell them <laughs> yeah. everything. I just want to like let it out. Like, no, you're wrong. Because let it out. Is actually, but I can't do that 500 times a day. Like it's yeah. not like. You don't need to do 500 times. Put it on your content. Tell us why. But why hasn't she done that? It's interesting. Because I think she realizes that if she pushes too far, this guy, that eventually he's going to have to speak up and say, no, here's the truth. Here's my side. And it's going to be really bad for her. I you mean, couldn't I, do it. I couldn't, Even if it was your I couldn't job, moderate you couldn't do it. those comments enough to like make that go away. Like everybody, there's even other creators that have made videos of us not wanting to post our daughter because for some reason we don't care about her. And people saying, well, I like them until I realized they had another daughter and they don't post her. Because so you kept it secret. You didn't have to keep it secret. That's what people, people are upset that you know, like maybe there are some people that are upset you don't post her. Okay, fine. Those people are stupid. But people are upset because they follow you, they're invested in your life, and you lied to your people about a literal human being that you had. That's what they're upset about. So I, and again, they're just, uh, they're just making this up. At a point, you just kind of have to block all mm -hmm. of that out because I think- And block them haters, yo. I think, I mean, it really starts to mess with us mentally, even though we know the kind of parents we are. We yeah. know- I know the kind of parents you are. You're exploiters. The end. That's all I need to know. You're bad. Why we're doing it. 
Um, but yeah, that is a hundred percent like the hardest part is keeping my mouth closed and not wanting to just say everything. Say everything then. Again, she won't because then it's going to cause this guy to clap back and be like, nah, here's the truth. Again, if she if she's so right about this and she was an abusive relationship, he did all this stuff. How does he have custody of his child if he's an abusive person? How is that possible? And explain like, no, you're wrong because of this. Yeah. Why doesn't she talk about like yeah? Because she you know she keeps eerily silent on that type of topic is because it's gonna make her look really bad. Mm-hmm. That's so interesting. She's got some skeletons, man, and her skeleton's gonna look weird too. You know what I'm saying? too because we just had um, some other friends of ours Brooklyn and Bailey on the podcast and one of their sisters just doesn't like to be on camera and so and their videos because their their whole family mm-hmm. like they come from a family of- cares it's just everybody has their own opinion on things and maybe one day she's gonna decide randomly that she wants to be in it and that's great and she can be I hope not and yeah. we will fully support that and I think of course you will because you'll fully exploit it everybody will love that because people are so interested in her for some reason you're (laughs) is that not a red flag for you people are so interested in this person they've never even heard about on our channel they're so interested in her for some reason and that's not scary to you strangers on the internet are interested in your 12 year old daughter and you're not like oh that's really weird instead you're like that's really cool are you crazy are you out of your damn mind they yeah. want to know all of No, I, here's what I think it is. At least it's for me. Because it's a big secret. How do you have a 12? Yeah, it, and, she just, and she just admitted right there, everybody. Because it's a big secret. You're old and you... Wait, <laughs> yes. That's what it is. It's like, you don't look like you're yeah. 30. Yeah. I'm just like... Yeah. Yes, she does. Yes. What? She is the jowls of a 50-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, it is really weird. And I think that's really what threw everybody for a loop in the beginning was that... I thought she was 21. I thought she was like you 22 totally years, years old. 21. Yeah, you, no, she can't. No, she can't. You and, yeah. and, well, why are they acting like this is their first pregnancy? And I think that is really... That's because you put that content out there like it was your first pregnancy. You're the one who put it out there. You're the one who drew the misconception. You're the one who did that on purpose. That's why they're saying that. What made this big, like, controversy? Like, yeah. oh my gosh, girl, people are just obsessed with this whole idea. Day. And so people are obsessed with this whole idea. So you're solution to that is like i hope she comes on our content one day because these people are obsessed with her they don't know her why would you want her on the internet stranger obsessed with a stranger's child and you're cool with that Mm, idiots i want to look like you when i have a 12 year old thank you do you really want to look like that i mean okay well i wish i looked like you at 25 so. Oh, stop. <laughs> now we're just going to flatter each other. Oh, like gosh. Yes, yeah, stop. <laughs> well, Tay is taking their precious baby girl and I think swaddling her right now. But, um, wow. Oh, that's the end of that podcast. Been able to. Great. Well, thank you for having really cool learning more about you guys. That was silly. What a dumb podcast. And again, I think Kay and Tay just went on there because they have. This was the way to mitigate this disaster that's happening right now on their channel. I think this is like a recent thing that they've been called out for. If you're on the KNT channel on the Snark subreddit and you know a lot about them, let me know. I'd like to know the whole story. Because some people have been following them for the whole thing. I want to know the whole thing because I'm absolutely going to cover them. Bunch of buttholes. Like that's so much contradiction and lies in one podcast that we could find instantly. And so there's going to be more and you know it. Again, Kay's ex-husband, if you ever want to tell your story because she's out here talking about you, more than happy to use my platform to tell the story. And please continue to protect your daughter. Please, 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 please continue to protect her. You've done good so far. Thank you so much for doing that. And the daughter will absolutely thank you for that one day. I, I promise you that. You are doing a good thing. Okay? Awesome. Everybody, take a deep breath. Matt is cringy. And these people are also cringy. Jim. You're not cringy, though. You're amazing. Incredible. You're valuable. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you when I see you.